Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, the dispute between the federal government uh, of Nigeria and the academic staff union uh, of universities uh, has lingered for months, in fact, since uh, February 14. This is even just the latest. It's been on for some time. It's caused uh, a pause in the academic activities um, and it's also disrupted the academic calendar of Nigerian students, university students. However, some Nigerians are and now backing the federal government in implementing the integrated personnel and payroll uh, system, uh, concerned by the long hold in academic activities, especially after a long holiday due to the COVID pandemic, uh, some stakeholders are backing the federal government to implement what is called the IPPIS in place of a university transparency and accountability solution, UTAS, proposed by the Academic Staff Union of Universities. But what exactly is the IPPIS? Well, the Integrated Personnel and Payroll System is a centralized payroll, a platform uh, by the federal government that helps the government plan and manage its payroll budget whilst ensuring also that there is no loophole in the disbursement of a payment. Now, instituted in April 2007, the platform's data is used by the body responsible for the payment of salaries and wages directly to employees' bank account uh, with necessary deductions, you know, such as taxes, insurance, and all made automatically. Now, what about the University uh, Transparency Accountability Solution, UTAS? Well, the UTAS is a payment system created by ASU, that's the University Lecturers Union, uh, for the federal government to use to pay its members' salaries. And of course, uh, we've had some reactions to this. A uh, uh, lot of talk about the ongoing strike. Nigerians just simply want this strike to end. Now, Victor Emmanuel Osodeke, a Nigerian professor of soil science and lecturer at the Michael Okpara University of Agriculture, Umudike, is the national president of the Academic Staff Union of uh, Universities in Nigeria. He joins us now on The Breakfast. Uh, professor Osodeke, good morning to you, and thank you very much for your time. Professor Emmanuel Sodeke, good morning to you and thank you very much for your time. All right, All right sir. Uh, uh, okay, do you, do you, what is your response to some Nigerians, some stakeholders who are saying that the federal government should stick to the IPPIS and not go the way of the UTAS like the union is, uh, is demanding as a way of quickly solving the issues uh, you know, surrounding this strike? issue of IPPIS and UTAS have been on since 2014. In 2014, we met with the Akata General then, and we agreed that IPPIS cannot capture all the peculiarity of the university system. Based on which we agreed then, and I will tell you in the letter, that we should put a committee that will develop a system that will capture all the peculiarity in the system. But we sent our own nominee for the recall back to us until the case this time. So the issue of Utah is not that RP has to try to impose it on the government. It's what both sides agree should be developed. And in 2020, they also agree with us and challenge us to produce one for this country which will be free and will capture all the peculiarities and be hosted by the Nigerian University Commission. The National University Commission will host it, not even ask it. So that is the origin. IPs have created so much problems, as I'm speaking to you. A few foreign lecturers who are in the country have not left because IP does not capture them. So what we are doing is a service to the country and not trying to impose our solution on the country. I think that's where we are. All right. Uh, uh, but it, it's been said initially, I mean, the early days of this strike, the federal government said they had done some integrity tests and uh, it was proven that the UTAS was not uh, sustainable, it wasn't feasible. It didn't pass the integrity tests conducted by the federal government. Uh, that is also not true. When the UTAS was tested the first time, it cost 77% on technicalities, and 94% on end users' evaluation. 
So you could say a program that so scores of seven percent and ninety four percent fail. Because of these policies and people who benefit from IPPIs, they said it failed. We went back again for a test. This time, I'm also educated them because they don't know what the university is. So, but, but, Prof, uh, you, you, you were saying there was an integrity test. You're saying people who want to benefit from the, the IPPIS are the ones who don't want the UTAS to be adopted. But it's quite clear that the IPPIS um, is, is automated. And the, the body that was ordered by President Buhari in, in the, the last uh, check, which is uh, in May 2022, to, to conduct an in integrity test um, was the NITA, National Information uh, technology development agency, not not politicians, not any. This is an agency that is involved in information technology. Uh, you know, don't you wouldn't you say that these guys don't have any interest apart from just you know the, the technology aspect of this? Prof, are you there, please? Hello, Professor Manuel Sodeke, Can you hear me, please? All right, Professor, it seems uh, you're having some network challenges. Uh, we'll get back to you in a jiffy uh, while we try to sort this issue out. I do not know uh, whether the Professor is with us or not. Is he with us? Professor, are you there? Thank you very much. I'm told that uh, he's not with us. Uh, we'll try to call him back. Maybe it's a network issue. But, of course, um, let's uh, just get, get to that question I was asking the Professor, you know, about the integrity test. Um, all right, Professor Osodoke, uh, sorry about that. I'm sure it's a network challenge. But um, you talked about those who are vested interests of sorts, you know, in, in this whole integrity test. But in, in May 2022, was the president director of the uh, National Information Technology Development Agency, which is an agency settled with, uh, you know, looking into things that have to do with information technology. Um, they have the, the experts, as far as IT is concerned, in the federal government of Nigeria. Um, don't you think this was a professionally done integrity test that, that came out with a result that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, recommended the IPAPIS as the way to go? You see, the question we Nigeria should ask the government is that when IPPIS was introduced in 2007, was it tested? Was NIGA directed to test IPPIS? And it has functioned now from 2007 to today, which is a total of about 18 months, has it been tested? And even at that, we also accepted that it should be tested, and we passed all of them. But the one you are using, that you are promoting, you never tested it. So that is the, 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 the contradictory policy of a government. Contradictory. You brought something that was given to you, you are paying so much money are creating so much problem. And the man who manages it is alleged to have taken one around 70 billion from Nigeria economy for that for the government through that process and you are still promoting it. Does it make sense? But the Akadagra is alleged yeah. to have taken one seventy billion using that IP platform and a GIFMIS. And we are still promoting it. And now we are producing one for you, free of charge, we are not paying anything, tested Scored 97.97%, and people are still asking questions. Does it make any sense? Uh, Prof, you've talked about uh, the, the uh, yeah, Accountant General's issue. Um, wh what exactly is ASU's problem with, with, with the IPPS? I'm, I would like to believe that the Accountant General's travails are not really your, your problem because, you know, your money will be paid to you if you, are, if you receive a salary as a lecturer, whether he steals money from there or not. But in terms of ASU's pay, the, 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 the salaries of lecturers being paid from this IPPIS. What is ASU's problem with the IPPIS? We also would like to know. Come again. I didn't hear you very well. Yeah. What is ASU's problem with the IPPIS as it stands? If it works perfectly, our, our, why don't you? Our yeah. problem, just listen, our problem are one. It does not capture all the peculiarity of university. In the university, you have people who are on contract appointment, so you have people who are on sabbatical, you have people who are visiting, and this is the trend all over the world. And it does not capture this. 
I do. I challenge. I will challenge Nigeria. We also challenge you generally. Find one university in the world. Where did where did children of lecturers are pay from the office of a Kanka general in any country in the world? No, it's the university in Ibaka. You can't share the trend. No, there is a law. The university autonomy law. The training autonomy law. That says that it's the government council that will manage the finances of the universities. Not the Kanka general. You see, we, we, can't, we can't be behaving like snakes in a country where you have intellectuals. As intellectuals will not allow it. You already break the law. As soon as this paper can be happy. So if you have a lecturer in Sokoto, he has a problem with the salary, he has to come to Abuja to sort it out. A lecturer in Port Harcourt, he has a problem with salary, he has to come to Abuja to sort out the, 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 the problem. Is that how university is wrong? Please, I think we, you put the journalists, all of us in the press, we should tell them, this is correct thing. I do something because I create, I create room for somebody to, to so, uh, mass work so, so, using so, our, 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 our members' uh, fund. Professor Reke, are you, are, you, are you saying that you, are, as a, um, a, the national president, leader of a labor union like ASU, you are, you are ready to risk your monies being paid into a platform you know, that is not run by you or run by, set up by government independently? You know, you're ready to risk it, that uh, you have a danger of um, uh, uh, hackers, well, get, well, hackers, well, hackers well. getting into that, on that platform and stealing your money. You have, um, you know, a fraud which, that can be committed, which, running into billions. You don't mind that this fails an integrity platform? test. Which, which platform? Please, I you, say, Utah. which platform? Utah's, Utah's, Professor Zodike, Utah's. Utah's is yes. not as good. I do it, you see? I don't think, I don't think we understand how the academy is launched. All over the world, the university belongs to the government, and we have developed a solution for them to use, not for us to use. We be used by the government, Coordinated well, by National University Commission that yeah. regulates all the universities. So, this idea of uh, but, private services. Yeah, Professor, so you're going to have by being run by a private platform, inside it. Okay, so you as a it's, union. It's you, by the government. Yes. You as a union, you as employees of, of the federal government, uh, because that's what you are, you are employees of the federal government, want to tell your employer, the federal government, how to pay you. And you are telling the federal government they must use a platform that you developed. To pay you, is 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 that, is that fair to the federal I government? Think, I think I think I, I, just listen to me. I, I think you already you, you already you are coming here with a mindset. Yeah, Any country that believes that employee cannot challenge his employer is master slavery relationship, and after will not accept even with people like that around will not accept master slavery relationship. See, if I think has cut my salary from. But 50%, I will say I will share because that is what my matter says. That is the difference between we, who are intellectuals, who are intelligent, or some of you who believe in the master servant relationship. We I, don't have that. I, 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 prof, I never said I never said I believe in master servant relationship or that you believe I in master. Said, I I, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying is this not also trying to dictate how they should be paid to their employers? The simple question. That is, that's the that way. What do you mean that when you are working now, if you work for more money and your employer says, we are paying you 50% of what you earn, 10%, you keep quiet. That is not that. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking this about. This is creating a problem. If Prof. Nigeria is spending Nigeria resources heavily on IP, that is creating a problem that if I'm selling money and as academics, who you believe in this country? We keep quiet. There's something wrong. We Prof, don't believe Prof, in master relationship. We, we are not talking about. I'm not asking you about the amount to be paid. I'm asking you about the the mode of payment. Uh, is is it proper for an employee to say, "Hey, my employer, you must pay me this way"? You know, you say, "How can we tell our employer how to pay our salary?" That is master servant relationship, which we as a union would not accept. Two, you can't. The government asks us to make you tax for them, which we have done, and then it's done all over the world. What if they have a problem? You go to the university and look for solutions. That's what we are giving to them. So it's not about uh, creating a special platform for, by yourself. We are going to solve this country problem if they believe in the university, and that's what we are struggling for. Uh, uh, but, but I asked you a question about the integrity of this Utah's platform. It has failed the NIDA. Uh, integrity test. It is failed to need that integrity. Are you not worried that the, the funds for meant for lecturers' salaries uh, will 
be, be uh, um, open to, to fraud, to attacks, to hacks, you know, on such a platform that has failed the integrity test of uh, NITA, thereby even putting yeah, think, your members, you know, in danger of losing their, their salaries and not being paid. And then you go on just, strike again. Uh, just, just uh, listen. I think uh, you people, uh, you that did not fail any integrity test. The results are there. You want them, I will say to you, what they have told you is political. Two, so, I have asked this question. Have we, the Nigerian press men, the press, have we asked the government whether I think was ever tested for integrity or for when was it ever tested? Have you not used it for the three years? Was I think tested? Are you asking me? Sir? Mm. But, 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 but um, 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 uh, Prof, in, in March this year, the DG of NIDA said that uh, ASU's uh, UTAS failed three integrity tests. And you're telling me, Prof, that uh, you never failed an integrity test. So, uh, I, I, I mean, what, this is what um, Kashi, Ka, Ka, uh, Kashifu Inua said. You know, that uh, your platform failed three integrity tests. This was in March, you know. Um, so, so what are you saying when you say ASU's uh, UTAS didn't fail an integrity what, test? What, what you are, what you are, what they are telling you, but as far as for science, political. You remember, at that same unit, the head of that unit, we have issue with him, with him in Puto, you are aware. The professor in Puto, you are aware of it. So what do you expect from them? What do you expect? They should show the result that showed that Luther has failed for the Nigerian public. The one who have shown the result that is called 99.7%, which means that most of you, the public, believe them that, not, that they are the four that we have shown in the public. All right. Uh, um, uh, some have said that, you know what, this, this Utah's IPPIS issue, if you look at all the other issues that are um, you know, on the table as far as this asset strike that has been on uh, for close to six months now is concerned. That um, the UTAS is one that can maybe, ASU can drop that one for now and let, let the negotiations be ongoing. Um, if the other issues can be resolved, uh, will your union... Why, 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 are you yeah. so, why are you so yeah. interested in so, so, dropping the, no, the it's, a, it's not my interest. It's just a question I'm asking you, Prof. If, uh, if, uh, if, uh, Prof, uh, if uh, the uh, other... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Prof, so why, the, the, the question... Prof, well, well when, that, that's your opinion. Why not the test? I'm sure that will pass. The test will be tested. But why are you so interested in so that? So, pro, pro, Prof, uh, but my question is this. Um, if the federal government can resolve the issues surrounding, you know, your pay, um, will the union be ready to go back to the classroom, you know, to resume lecturing if this IPAPIS issue is still not resolved? If the other issues if are still... I think on this, on, let me also correct at the last meeting we had, said by the chief of staff, we agreed that the three solutions be tested and it's the best should be applied. And I'm not as to you uh, that will be the best. I don't think that you have been to rest. Let me read the report. All right. Uh, uh, Prof, uh, there's, a, there's a quote I'd like to bring your way. Um, uh, someone who commented on this Utah's uh, issue, uh, an IPPI says, quote, his name is Farouk C., he put up a, a, a tweet saying uh, there is no justification whatsoever for us to continue fighting off IPPIS. He says no way does an employee force a payment platform on his employer for their allowances and wage increment. I'm totally backing them to fight for it. FG must find a way to pay them up. That's why I asked you uh, that uh, question. Another comment that is, I've seen online, it says uh, one of the problems with us in this country is that no one is, is clean and we don't feel bad about our own debt. I still blame the government, though it's their job to maintain law and order and show they can uh, be trusted. ASU should accept the payment system government is, is uh, proposing. Um, so so your, your, your stance you're saying is, is if this IPPIS is issue is not sorted out and your payment is not moved to Utah's, ASU will not go back to the classroom. Um, is there no way the federal government can resolve this Maybe look for another solution if it's not the UTAS, if it's not IPPIS, maybe an independent solution by a third party, maybe private sector. Hello, any 
in the, in the developed world, the only way a country will move forward is that when something is wrong, you correct it and use the shorter term. But we're in a country where people are just sentimental, when the government does not like change, and that's where we are, where we are today, that we're one of the least developed countries in the world with all the people we have. If my DPI is from what we have seen, the man who is managing it was able to use it as alleged to siphon one several billion for the system. It does not protect the government. Mm. You see what to use it. When your intelligence have produced a system for you, that you don't need to spend a cover. Okay. And we yeah. still need to be pushing for that particular thing that was all in Kritikov as well. Okay, Prof. And we have challenged this government, and we also challenged Nigeria press. Look for one university in the world where the salaries of lecturers are paid from one academic general office. Prof, uh, an another, another, yeah. Prof, before you go, another you highlight, master, yeah. Master, 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 master Prof, another highlight. It's like, that money belongs to Nigeria people. It does not belong to a particular government. It's like this money. Okay, all right, interesting. Another highlight of this uh, IPPIS is the fact that it uh, is able to weed out ghost workers, is able to weed out uh, multiple employment and all that. Um, some people are saying that uh, ASU is holding the federal government to ransom over this IPPIS issue because, um, uh, but some of the workforce, some lecturers in in the employ of uh, universities in the country, uh, have two jobs. They're earning two salaries. So uh, ASU and its members, rather, are being accused of uh, uh, padding its workforce and salary padding. You know, and uh, someone is asking why should a lecturer work for five universities when we can employ more? Is it true that some lecturers have you know employment in more than one university and they're collecting more than one salary? thereby stopping others from being employed, at least to get something to do. You see, you also show the poor knowledge of Nigeria about what the university is. No lecturer and salary in two places. But by the lecturer's condition of service, every seven years, it's allowed to go what we refer to as sabbatical leave. So another university, so this is knowledge and gain knowledge from there and bring back to the whole university. Sabbatical leave. And it's a worldwide phenomenon. It happens all over the world. Two, you see, it's not everybody that should be a lecturer. For you to be a lecturer, you must have second class. For the first entrance to, to be a lecturer, you must be a graduate with second class upper. For you to move, you must have a master's degree. And so forth. So it's not everybody. You, you now have a professor of cybercrime. And the next university does not have anybody at that category to supervise their PhD. They hire this professor as a visiting lecturer on allowance, not salary, on allowance, who will come there and see those courses. That's the idea of visiting. So once you hear later I end double salary, it is not correct. You can check all over the world. You cannot. So we should be confused by this uh, very, very, what do you call it, this knowledge uh, that people have about university. We have, we need to go to Abuja. There's somebody from Poland today teaching when you go to Abuja. It's a letter in Poland. He came on, on a visit. Please, we should allow that you know, to run at your university. That's a village secondary school that people want to go well, and join university too. All right, all right. It's interesting. Uh, 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 I wish we had more time with you, Professor Mano Sodeke, because there are uh, still more very important questions to ask. Um, uh, some some experts have said if ASU wants to create a separate condition of service for themselves and uh, you want to be uh, self-governing, then you must also be ready to be self-funding. Um, uh, uh, finally, very quickly, do you agree with that view, that if you want to be self-governing uh, and, and decide how you are paid and everything, then you also must be self-funding. Is that something that ASU thinks will be, will be something that can work? You see, we also go to the... I don't know who said the city not. University autonomy does not mean that ASU is running a university. The autonomy means that in the structure, you have the head of the university being the president as a visitor. He appoints a government council that will act on his behalf, 
on his behalf, the public council. That company runs the university on his behalf. Every five years, he set up a discussion panel, check how the university has been run. That's how university run all over the world. Two, the issue of a right to education is a constitutional issue. Every Nigerian youth, every Nigerian young man and woman have a right to government funding of education. So this is about uh, the disabilities and so on. It's not correct. We are saying we follow the law. The professor is appointed by the president. This member of the council is appointed by the president to run the university based on the law. That is the autonomy we are talking about. We are not saying the university will not belong to what. It's not correct. We should go. We need to be. We need okay. to go and be. Okay. But we, we have to start asking questions. All right. All right. Pro Prof, thank you very much for your time. And uh, it, it's been a thrill having you. I mean, um, I know I've had, asked some tough questions, but you've, you've uh, eloquently answered them, and I appreciate you for that. We look forward to having you again on this program sometime soon. Thank you very much. Uh, and that's uh, the size of that discussion. When we return, we look at other issues, particularly a call by Nigerian governors for President Buhari to uh, fire or to sack um, to lay off work federal civil servants who are above the age of 50. We'll be right back.